Hello everyone, Joe Neat here, executive producer on Sea of Thieves. Uh, and what a week it's been. Yeah, we've just launched The Hungering Deep one week ago. Uh, and it's been incredible, honestly, to see all of the stories that have come out of this and to see the positive social interaction between players has been genuinely just amazing. Like, you know, we, we really purposely crafted the experience in this way to try try and bring players together to give you a reason when you see another ship you know to not engage um, in ship combat as fun as it is uh, and to see how people have reacted to this and to see the amount of people kind of gathering together on Shark Bait Cove going out defeating the Megalodon together to see all those new friendships forming has been amazing and like I played it on the, uh, you know, the day it launched. I met up with a bunch of strangers and we had an amazing session. I gathered them all around at the end and told them I was the EP on the project and that it was the best session I've ever had and that how excited I was to see it kind of play out like it did. So like, really, really happy as a team to see this kind of, you know, this first foot forward really in terms of updating the game and growing the game um, land as well as it has. Um, and with you know, the, the intent that we had about creating positive social interaction land so well um, with our community. So, you know, really exciting, I think, that, that you know, this was our first update and now we're going to be transitioning um, into our events as we lead towards uh, new campaigns and new updates in the future. So, yeah, like a really good start. Um, and, you know, we, we got, obviously, there was loads of great stories. Um, some of them, like some of my favourites, the person who used the speaking trumpet, uh, pretending they were like an airline captain. That was super funny. I'd advise people to check that out. Um, the person who managed to kill the shark um, with a sniper rifle and a shot of an explosive barrel, like with the final shot, that was amazing, like proper Jaws kind of moment there. Um, uh, and again, speaking trumpet uses the person who decided to Rick roll other crews by sailing around, um, playing a bit of Rick Astley. That was that was top class. Really enjoyed seeing that, especially the person that joined in. I think singing from the other crew, like you know, this is this is Sea of Thieves, right? Where we we see really cool social interaction. You see people use the tools that we give them and create amazing stories. And um, it was so cool to see all of that coming out of the Hungering Deep. So, you know, thank you to everyone that turned up at played. Thank you to everyone that, that, that made these amazing stories. And thanks to everyone that interacted positively, socially and made new friends. Like, so cool. Such a cool week. Um, so obviously there's only there's one week left um, for the Hungering Deep. Uh, so if you want to get in there, you want to kind of um, team up and take down the Meg and get the exclusive kind of cosmetics rewards around it, um, then then you know get get in there and and and, and get involved. So alongside that, like we we had some good feedback around the campaign too, um, and I think quite a, quite a lot of people were like, give me reasons to replay it, give me reasons to go back in and earn other stuff, like uh, make it a bit longer, like basically just kind of stretch it out um, and so uh, we're taking that feedback and we're looking at the events we've got coming up and we're obviously looking at the um, the other campaigns moving forward right so you know people want a reason to play and stick around longer and come back and replay things and um, and, and and play through in different ways and, and all that kind of stuff so um, loads of really good feedback um, that's that's you know we've been looking through on every single avenue that it comes in um, and straight away building that into the plans for our next stuff so adjusting everything that we're doing moving forward and like really cool to be in that position that we can listen and react so swiftly and improve the stuff that's coming up uh, so thanks to everyone we've been um, really been listening so new new update coming out today and uh, there's there's basically just a, a number of quality of life improvements again so one of these um, is open and close crews now that you can do it in game itself you can kind of change um, between that setting so uh, you just go into my crew and you've got the option to kind of toggle as you're out there rather than just having to choose before you go in um, also Athena fortune reward so um, we've um, kind of tuned and tweaked this so uh, you're going to start seeing less of the kind of um, cast away and low tier rewards for Athena fortune um, kind of quests for, for pirate legends um, and watch sub items and messages in a bottle those are all back on now um, so we've resolved the issues with them so lots of feedback around that people asking when they were coming back so they're going to be back on in today's build um, uh, and we've fixed some issues I think here with uh, bounty quest skeletons not spawning correctly on Thieves Haven um, sometimes so we're continuing to look at that as if if people do encounter issues with skeletons not spawning on specific islands in specific places any information you can provide around that whether it's kind of on the forums or in a, um, a report to our customer services team that really helps us kind of just now 
nail down exactly where any of these issues might be happening. The focus for us as a team, like obviously E3 is coming up, so I'm going to be flying out um, to, to E3 for next week and look, looking to, to meet as many people there that we can from the community. So a bunch of stuff going on around that. We hope to share more details around that soon. But, but if you're at E3, if you're lucky enough to get there and get into the show, um, just swing by the, um, the Xbox booth because the Sea of Thieves, we've got a, we've got a presence there. Um, we'll always have uh, members of the dev team on the booth and really look forward to chatting to people, hearing people's feedback and, and sharing stories and, and everything else. So we've got a little bit of a teaser trailer that we've put together as well, showing um, a glimpse of some of the upcoming uh, content. Uh, so you can look to see that during E3 itself. That'll be super cool to kind of um, to get that out there. We're really excited about that. At E3 as well, myself and, and some of the, the other team, we're going to obviously be doing a lot of interviews as we do, um, you know, meeting with press and talking about launch and everything that kind of happened, sharing some really cool stats as well about like, you know, the number of players we've had, number of hours played, loads of really cool um, uh, numbers because there's it's been a lot of players playing Sea of Thieves and, um, and that's been amazing. So really want to talk about launch and, and, you know, a glimpse into the future too about how we want to um, you know, continue to grow and evolve the game, and it's been it's been really great to to get the hungering deep out and to kind of get the feedback and reaction that we did, um, uh, and kind of heading into E3 and kind of really puts a spring in our step about you know what's to come. But then as we move on from that, we want to bring in our first kind of event. So we're putting together a cool little video around this, um, and we're going to be naming the kind of the, the series of events. We've come up with something good for that, um, and that should be starting in like next week, basically. So the 12th of June will be when we introduce our first event into the world. So again, like we like with Hungry, really looking forward to seeing how that goes down with players. And again, looking forward to, to people's stories. So again, the Skeleton Thrones event is going to do something to try and drive crews together again. So trying to get that kind of um, positive social interaction out on the seas. So again, looking forward to seeing how that goes down. Um, it's, it's really fun as well. It's, it's a different kind of, you know, it's a change of pace from from um, how maybe you normally play Sea of Thieves and really kind of encouraging some of that fun experimentation and um, using firing out of cannons in a really cool way. So so, like I said, I'm out at E3 next week, so uh, the next week's video will be Drew Stevens again, as opposed to myself. Uh, and then also, straight after E3, I'm actually taking a couple of weeks holiday. Um, uh, I've kind of been running all the way up to launch and then through launch and everything else, and so it's time to take a little bit of time off. Um, so for the next few videos, Drew will be stepping in, um, and I'll miss everyone, And but I will be back uh, kind of start of July, uh, and I'll be back in front of the camera to give you an update on all the awesome stuff that's been going on um, across the team. So. Uh, obviously, when I'm when I'm away, I'm going to be keeping an eye on all my social media and and uh, seeing what, like just watching the stories and everything else. So, yeah, really excited to see all of the updates that are going to be coming out um, in June. So, yeah, I I think that's it really. So I'll see hopefully um, some of you at E3. Um, looking forward to to the, the stuff we're going to share there. Um, and yeah, and I'll I'll see you in a little while. So cheers. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then subscribe to our channel and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just wait here. I'm not doing, not doing much anyway. A couple of, couple of good videos there if you want to watch.